All right, guys. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to get a bigger upper chest with calisthenics. Um, the Taji Legacy used this technique, and we have made some gains from it. So, let's get straight into it, James. All right, so we're just going to straight into this. So before we go into what the technique is, first I need to tell you, you need to ask yourself what actually activates upper chest, what kind of position, what kind of technique towards weightlifting first. You see, most of the time, calisthenics does have trouble building the upper chest region because we, we um, base our training around compound movements. But however, if you take a positioning from uh, incline um, bench, what's it called? Incline dumbbell press. So you see, you guys see the guys at the gym. They're, they're inclined right, and they have the dumbbells here. And the hand placement is near their ears, and they're coming up, and they're pressing near their head like that. All right. So it's like a diagonal movement. So coming from there, that that, that exercise activates the upper chest. So if you want to do that, do the same thing with calisthenics. You need to reverse the positioning. All right. So we're coming down, almost like a pike position, but not really. So we're coming down. Legs are slightly um, vertical, and then your hands are coming close together. All right. So when they're close together, hips up a bit. When you're coming down, same thing like a dumbbell uh, incline uh, dumbbell press. So you're coming down near your forehead, and then you're pressing up. All right. So take a note, again, hands must be close to activate further towards the upper chest. And then while we're doing it, to further activate more of the chest, you want to try and squeeze while you're pressing up and down. While you're pressing, you want to try and squeeze your biceps towards your upper chest like this. So you come in, press it in, come in, press it in. Also, with your hands, just like how you activate the lower chest this time, you reverse it. Once you work, while you're pressing up, once you're coming down, you're pressing up, you're, pre you're almost doing a hand turn. So you're hand turning outwards like this. Alright, so I'll demonstrate one more time. Alright, hands together, hands close, slightly inclined, coming down towards my forehead. Pressing up, putting my biceps together, and turning my hands out. Alright, you probably won't realize that they actually activate in the upper chest region. Try for yourself, I guarantee it. And if you want to make it even harder, you're going to activate your chest, upper chest even more. You want to put your feet inclined, almost like an um, inclined pike push up. So that's how you basically activate upper push up, uh, upper chest. Thank you guys for watching this video. If your problem is solved, Please click the video over there. Actually, it's on this side. Over there. Yes. Yeah, oh, click the video over there. Yeah. Video over there. And yeah, subscribe button down here. Thank you guys for watching. Could you actually? It's already at the outro. <laughs>